All right, what's up, boys and girls? We got the return of To Catch a Pay Pig here. This is going to be uh, episode 21. I'm going to try to put these out occasionally, but, you know, as most of you know, they take up a lot of time and effort, so I'm not sure when the next one will be. Having said that, it might happen in a week or a few months. I mean, there's just no fucking telling. Um, we have two semi-trolls we're going to cover, and then we're going to wrap up Snow Carl. I think it's just fitting that we go ahead and wrap him up uh i was re-watching one of the older episodes and i saw silent weapons ask for junior mint to be covered and that's what kicked this whole thing off for me so shout out to silent weapons uh you know just it got me searching and it got you know i had that that vibe back that groove back so we're gonna cover uh junior mint we're gonna cover mature adult or mature adult with a business degree and then we're gonna wrap up snow carl and I'm going to fucking go off on Dave, but we're going to save that for the very end. Uh, without wasting any further time, let's go ahead and jump into this. To Catch a Pay Pig, episode 21, a less a fucking a go. Um, Junior Mint 007 did a 100-bit cheer to become the top cheer of the day. The thing he's proposing is ridiculous, but I'll, I'll read it anyway. I'll entertain it. Um, Junior Mint says the following. Hold on, let me get him up here. By the way, I love Junior Mints. I used to eat Junior Mints all the time. My mom and I used to go to the movies and eat Junior Mints. <laughs> we loved Junior Mints. We'd share them when we watch a movie or something at the movie theater. Uh, but anyway. Um, so he proposes the following ridiculous thing. He says, Wait, Have you ever thought about holding a Street Fighter tournament in public with people like Evil AJ and others to see who's really the best? No lag and no bullshit. Plus you could sell tickets. Good idea to have your name out there. Uh, Let's see. I'm a full-time gameplay streamer. I have to be here six days a week full-time to make ends meet and pay the bills. You want me to not stream for a day or two to hold a Street Fighter tournament out of nowhere in a Street Fighter community that I now have no notoriety in because I have not been a part of said Street Fighter community for the greater part of 10 to 15 years. You want me to hold a tournament that's an open invitational to my detractors to play me in real life with no lag... To basically, uh, you know, beat the crap out of them in real life. You want me to sell tickets to this event. Not make it a free tournament, like all Street Fighter tournaments are. But you want me to actually sell tickets like this is some kind of a pay-per-view event. Um, I don't even know where to begin on how stupid of an idea that is. Even though it might sound hype to you. Uh, as someone who's a very practical person. Gee, let's see. I have no money to secure a venue. I have no clout to get anyone to help me run a tournament. I don't know why anyone would show up to this said tournament anyway. People in the mainstream Street Fighter community don't give a crap about me. All this would do is waste time and money and be absolutely ridiculously silly. And that's even if I could find a way to do it because I have no money to finance an event like this. All right, so let's go back to the beginning there. He, he loved sharing Junior Mints at the movies with his ma'am. I just got a kick out of that for whatever reason. But he starts talking about Street Fighter in person and he threw in quote to basically beat the crap out of them in real life unquote sure phil sure and buddy i'll start a gofundme and we'll set a ten thousand dollar goal so there'll be a 10k purse just for you to show up so there you go you don't have to worry about time off from work you don't have to worry about missing days uh, blah 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 i'll put up 10k of my own money that I don't have, by the way, extra if you win the tourney. So that's a potential 20k to prove that you're really as good as you say you are. Now, as soon as you show up, the lights are going to turn off and you're going to hear the lock click behind you. And then you're going to realize that the only two people in the place are you and I. But we can discuss that at a later time. What do you say, my good friend? Are you willing to show up and prove that you're that good at Street Fighter in real life against me one-on-one -on -one, unless a fucking a go week um oh hold on shout out to junior mint 007 who actually did uh, another 100 bit cheers did you ever play poker at any of the casinos in connecticut when you lived there i never did some of my friends did because some of my friends were were into that stuff we would actually play poker with each other like we would have a, a poker game at each other's houses and stuff at night but i never played poker at a casino a few of my friends did uh, a few times when I was there and they lost all their money. <laughs> so, uh, all right, not too much there. Just 
never played poker at the casinos. Motherfucking X to doubt that bullshit. And then he adds that they, quote, lost all their money. So in this imaginary story, his friends are the ones that lose all their money. And he's got his money in his pocket. And he's still good and doing this and that. And he never played poker at the casinos. A oh, fuck you. Next clip. Uh, let's see here. Junior Mint did a 100-bit cheer. So anyone who calls you an e-beggar probably has never heard your voiceover work in games like Final Fantasy VI. That, my friend, was pure protection. Uh, I, the only voiceover work I actually did is I did a, a voice for Kefka, and that was it. So if you're serious, thanks. If you're if you're joking, well, you're a dickhead. You're, you know, how dare you? But thank you for the 100-bit cheer. Uh, Tomahawk MCX just tipped me $10. Top contributor of the night, guys. He says, what are your thoughts on Dying Light 2 and Cyberpunk being delayed? Also, do you have a Discord server other than your website? Other than my website? What does that even mean? I don't have a Discord server for my website. But no, I don't have a Discord server at all. Um... <laughs> That's so good. Yes, Phil. Feign some more confusion that you don't know what Discord is or how it works. Direct quote. No, I don't have Discord server at all. Un a quote. Then it comes out he's fucking not only had a Discord server for years, a mod Discord server, and he WWE Champions Discord server, and but somehow he doesn't know how Discord serve Discord servers work, and he doesn't have one at all. I think you're full of shit there, buddy. Now from early PS4 days. And Junior Mint did a hundred bit cheer and said, Is it true you went to school with Aaron Hernandez? Was he really gay? Did he ever hit on you or try to kill you? Uh, I have no idea. I never heard of him. So, anyway. Alright, and this one kind of made me crack up a little bit. Um, I'm assuming most of you know who Aaron Hernandez was, but in case you didn't, he was a football player and got arrested for murder and eventually committed suicide in prison. And supposedly there was some suicide notes where he admitted to being gay or something like that and i mean i don't know if it was true or not or what blah 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 so i guess that's where that cheer came from but i think he was from connecticut connecticut originally i think but he played for the new england patriots and the dude was really good and he just he threw it all away man he fucking blew it big time in the prime of his life and money and every everything dave wishes he had and Dave's story is probably going to end similar to Aaron Hernandez's. Well, we're going to have to wait on that, but it might end similar. I don't a fucking a no. <clears throat> okay. Let's continue on. Junior Mint, 007 cheer, 100 bits. Says, you should jump on the roast me trend. I'll start. Your head looks like a big toe. There you go. My head looks like a big toe. Uh, I need to tell you this, Junior Mint. I think I originated the roast me trend because that's what all these assholes have been doing for years anyway. So, it's kind of hard to jump on a trend that you've been a part of inadvertently for how long, right? <clears throat> okay, thank you for the cheer. That is beyond fucking pathetic, man. Beyond pathetic. How does this guy live with himself? He even knows he's the butt of everyone's jokes. It's like, can you imagine that being your life, man? Waking up every day and still turning on a camera... And having the dregs of society roast you. And that's what a lot of these guys are. The dregs of society. And they point and laugh at him. I'm, I'm not talking about the trolls. I'm talking about his own fans that still point and laugh. And show up for the drama. And apparently Dave started the roast me trend. Because he was the actual one getting roasted. It's fucking pathetic man. Let's go to the next clip. And oh my god. Just a, a sound warning on this one. Get fucking ready for it. And I appreciate that. Ace did a 50-bit cheer. He says, hey there, Phil. I'm going to have to leave for about a couple of weeks due to a personal tragedy. Well, first of all, Ace, I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope that things get better for you, and I hope that everything's all right. <coughs> <coughs> Holy shit. Oh, I swallowed the wrong way. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ace. I didn't mean to choke up during your cheer, but holy shit, I actually swallowed the wrong way right during there. Oh, man. Hold on a second. Woo! Oh, man. Okay, that's better. Holy shit. All right, let's try this again. Let's continue on. Um, 
Like what AC was saying, because it was pretty heartfelt, and I choked up. Literally. All right, he says, with that being said, I want to thank you for always providing interesting opinions about gaming and non-gaming topics. Um, we don't always see eye to eye, but I enjoy your take on games and the industry as a whole. I hope that 2020 is a successful year for you. Take care for the time being. All right, Ace. <clears throat> like I said, I hope things turn out well for you. I don't know what's going on personally with you, but I hope that things do get better and know that you're always welcome if and when you can come back. All right. If we don't see you for a long time, that's perfectly fine, but I hope that things turn out well for you. I wish you well. Okay. Junior Mint did a hundred bit cheer. And that actually, um, <clears throat> that actually is the top cheer of the day. And of course, he uses this to insult me. Of course, ready, ready for this this insult. Luckily, I just let these insults roll off my back. But he says, "Phil, did you hear this new Asian flu has now come up in Washington State? Just so you know, the symptoms are constant sniffing, and throat clearing, and heavy hair loss." All right. Well, there you go. Obviously, oh, obviously that's me. To a T. 100%. I must have it. <clears throat> I must be the primary carrier of it in this state, right? How else, uh, you know, <clears throat> what else would it be? Thanks very much for the insults. I always appreciate being insulted on my pre-stream, Junior Man. And thanks for the cheer during the insult. Uh, PW Dubs took me a dollar. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Sorry, uh, guy, about your personal tragedy. And then he starts spitting his lungs out, literally. And he can't mute the mic either. These people are so fucking dumb for putting up with this. And then another drag of society roasts him, and he just takes it. And hey, PW Dubs, where you been, man? Long time no see, buddy. Buddies. Good buddies. All right, we actually got a picture in this one, which is going to be a fucking rare occurrence. These are all audio clips, but uh, Junior Mint 007 does a, what is that? A 100 bitch here, I believe. It says, Phil, in going to Stratford, Connecticut on business next week, can I stay at your condo or your, par <laughs> or your parents even? I'm a great cook. And I didn't include the clip because Phil didn't even fucking read it. He just blew it off. And Come on, man. This guy's being nice and he's trying to help you out, help your family out. Can he stay at your condo? Nobody's even at your fucking condo. Just let him fucking stay there, stupid idiot. You could have charged him rent too, dumb fuck. Junior Mint did 100 bit cheer. He says, uh, what made you come clean when the incident happened? You could have said you were scratching your leg until the cows came home, but you came clean and admitted you were, you were popping your baloney. Because there was no point to lying. Listen, what was out there was out there. The truth of the matter was it wasn't nearly as bad as idiots like to make it out to be. There was nothing that was actually shown besides an embarrassing face. That was it. Was it embarrassing? Of course. But an embarrassing face versus lying about it and trying to be dishonest. Like, everyone could tell what the fuck it was, you know? People aren't stupid. So, why lie? You know, why lie about it? It didn't make any sense to lie about it. Um, and it's that simple. <laughs> so this idiot cheers and says, Oh, good for you for coming clean about your incident. What made you do it? And then he says, direct quote, There was no point to lie, unquote. Then why the fuck did you lie about it? Why the fuck did you ban people that even brought up what happened? This dude loves to move the goalposts more than any other person he criticized, but he 100% lied after the fact, tried to deny it, tried to ban people that brought it up, and only like the next day then, when everybody fucking shared it and it was all over the place, there was nothing he could do. No, nothing he could do. So then he came clean because he's an honest, a fucking, a guy. Get the fuck up out of my face, troll. Okay, Junior Mint 007 did a 100-bit cheer. He says, it's me, your BFF. Can you please make a roach emo? Thanks, bud. No, I cannot, but thank you for the cheer. Honest fan cheered. He said, I make cash via a side hustle online via PayPal. I've never been charged a fee. There's only a fee if you withdraw ASAP and not wait a day. That's completely wrong, honest fan. <laughs> that's 100% wrong. Maybe you're in a country that's different from America, you know, the United States. In the United States, when you receive any money via PayPal, there is always a transaction fee. Always. 
There is no situation where it's completely and utterly free um, unless you have certain criteria set up, okay? So that's not true at all. Um, if, you, if you are in a situation where you're not paying fees and you're in the United States, you're actually kind of violating their policy. You might want to be careful what you say online because then the people might, uh, they might get wise to it, <clears throat> okay? There you go. Uh, Dollar 30... <laughs> Tip me a dollar saying, I educated you two days ago. You called me an idiot. You could have researched and figured out how to diminish your processing fees on PayPal. I just talked about this. You were wrong. I literally just addressed this on stream and said, you were, you're referencing a blog post that's completely incorrect. You have no idea what the hell you're talking about. So thanks for sharing your complete nonsensical knowledge and talking straight out of your rectum. A big stinky sphincter uh, education is no education at all, my friend. All right. Explosive diarrhea. Tip me a dollar fifty. He actually thinks I'm going to put explosive diarrhea on the leaderboard. I'm not. Okay. And he says, if you don't mind me asking, why didn't no one buy your condo in Connecticut? It seems like it was a good shape and the price is pretty good. The East Coast is in a reception. It seems strange to think a lot of people would buy it in a heartbeat. All right. And shout out to explosive diarrhea there. And I cut it off because Phil just rambled on for like five minutes without actually saying anything. And I was like, fuck this. I don't want to hear this shit. But let's go back to the beginning. There's another perfect Phil Burnell special. Some moron tells him he's never had to pay a fee when withdrawing his money from PayPal, which is 100% true. You only pay if you instant transfer it to your bank account. And this jackass just has to tell him how much of an idiot he is and that he's wrong. His fetish to insult people and act like he's smarter than them is so strong that he twists anything you say and blatantly lies about it. Just to make himself feel better. Let that shit sink in, man. And then another person trolls him and insults him. Dude, this is why it constantly happens. You bring this shit on yourself. Your need to lie and insult people is so fucking strong. You can't help yourself. You block out reality and you just fucking... You can't help yourself, man. You just, you're a fucking idiot and you deserve this life, bitch. Junior Mitt did 100 bit cheers and when you were a kid, autism was not a thing. Yes, it was. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not even going to talk about this. Anyway, Misfit Knight, we subscribed for four months. It's obvious that the uh, Junior Mint is just a troll, trying really badly to troll and talk about stupid shit that I'm not going to talk about on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Again, how many times do I have to say this, man? This is the life you deserve, and these are the people that you deserve, you fucking idiot. Now let's read the cheer. Since apparently you couldn't do it. So Junior Mint does a 100 bitch here and says, Phil, when you were a kid, autism was not a thing. Do you think you would have been somewhere on the autism scale as a kid? Hashtag autism awareness. The guy was even trying to raise autism awareness and you couldn't fucking respond. You couldn't read it out. You insulted him. And the answer, Phil, is a yes. 100% a, a yes. And... You probably need to go to get to the hospital and get checked out because this is an unresolved issue. Let's just put it that way, a buddy. Interested in that stuff. So, uh, Alka the Ripper, that 100 bit cheers, is killer hangover, man. I know every once in a while you miss the night out with the fellas waking up in a strange bed. Big ops. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Actually, not. Let me tell you. Actual mature adult life where. You wake up in the same bed every day. You don't feel like shit. Uh, you wake up next to someone you absolutely love. And you have an amazing life with them. That is one million times better than anything I did in my youth. And I mean that too. All the days of traveling for Street Fighter. And being a bachelor doing stupid shit. Nothing compares to the life I have now. Now is 100% the best life I've had. So. Absolutely 100%. No I don't agree with you. I don't miss any of that shit. Um, Junior Mint did 100 bit cheers. If I seem quiet the stream, it's because I got totally mashed last night. I had a drink at the pub called the Dark Side Phil. It has gin, whiskey, coke, and roofies. Boy's my ass sore. Well, there you go. You gotta be careful, Junior Mint. You know, I warn people against protecting their personal information on my streams. Just as much in real life, you gotta protect yourself, man. You never know what's in a drink that's just handed to you. You gotta be careful, dude. And if you're ordering roofies in your own drink, you got to get ready for the repercussions. I'm just saying. Okay. 
So there you go. Thank you for the 100-bit cheer, Junior Man. I mean, I'm sure it's a very serious cheer. Motherfucking X to doubt this bullshit. I doubt him and Cat even sleep in the same bed. And he supposedly loves this life he has now so much. DoorDash every other day. Up to $1,000 on mobile games in a single night. Routinely spending 100 week at the liquor store. A soulmate that probably doesn't truly love him and 100% cheated on her boyfriend at the time while talking to Phil. A fucking beggar. Sounds like a dream life, buddy. How this dude didn't get banned on the spot after that cheer, by the way. He just insulted the shit out of him and Phil just reads it off, doesn't care. Oh my god, what do you even say, man? Next clip. Unless you're spending a same amount of money that I don't have or something like that, you know? <clears throat> okay. Um, Junior Mitch cheered. He said, we thought about making a tip goal for $500,000. No, that's stupid. Skeletor cheered. He says, Uber's a good way to make money. That's great. It's good, good for you. Thanks for the suggestion. No one's driving a fucking Uber. Boy, you're stupid. I keep telling you guys, you're stupid as shit. All right. <clears throat> so... That's it for now. Let's do the shout-outs for the leaderboard here. He's so disgusting, man. And gee, Phil, why didn't you read the full cheer? Well, luckily for you, I got it here, buddy. So Junior Mint does a hundred bitch here. It says, Phil, have you thought about making a tips goal for 500k and say it's for charity, but keep 100% of it? As your BFF, I would tip $10. Now that sounds logistical to me. That sounds, not logistical, that sounds like a lot, lot of logic behind it. I think you should do it, Phil. I, as a matter of fact, I recommend that you do it. As your professional, personal life coach or whatever you want to call me now, I recommend you do this and advertise it too. Then at the end of it, someone suggested Uber on the side. And of course, they're a stupid idiot for that. Thanks for the advice. Now get the fuck out of here, you dumb a troll. That's going to be it for this retrospective. <laughs> the vest retrospective. The retro vestive. The vestrospective. Whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching, everyone. First of all, obviously, thank you very much to the contributors on today's stream. Oh, wait. We just got another contribution. Hold on. Uh, Junior Mint, you don't have a cheer. What? What? Can we take a Pokemon... What modes we want now that you have a new one? Old mods like Anonymous suck donkey dicks. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Thank you, Junior Mint, for the cheer. Learn some English, okay? I have no idea what the fuck you're saying. All right, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What kind of cheap shot was that at Anani at the end there, buddy? What did Anani ever do to you? <laughs> and this was the original Vest Stream. This is the Vest Stream origin story, where it all started. And he made so much money the next few months off of that dumb thing. And a look at him now. And look at the way he degraded himself when it ended. I love it. I love it. Vestry, get the fuck up out of my face with that garbage. So that's how we end with a junior, a mint. Now let's move on to mature adult with a business degree. And let's see uh, what we got. Okay. Mature adult did 103 bit cheer and says, Am I afraid I'm going to get drafted? No, because I'm not an idiot who thinks that the American military drafts 37 year old people with medical problems. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't do that. They look for healthy, able bodied young men. They don't look for 37 year old dudes with back issues. Just saying. Okay, I'm not an idiot. <clears throat> and yes, Phil. That's why the military wouldn't draft you, buddy. Because you're a 37-year-old man with, quote, medical issues. I didn't know snorting constantly was a medical issue. And no, I don't count post-nasal drip because this dude won't even try and do anything to fix or help the issue. You know, something as simple as a 12-hour extra-strength Mucinex can help. And I know because I have an issue with clearing my throat constantly. I just thank God I'm not disgusting like this piece of trash and by the way how's the gout phil how's that seattle there working out for you a bitch 
All right, mature adult. Thanks for the cheer. No, I don't need your advice. Appreciate it. Trust me, this morning I paid to take a freaking financial course. And apparently I have to do another two-hour course later on in this whole bankruptcy process. So I don't need your help. But thanks for the offer. Thanks to everyone who did contribute tonight. I know Kate cheered the biggest cheer of the night. We had Akio Artorias. We had Papa Vera, mature adult. Uh, we had a couple dollar tips there from PW Dubs. One of the literally one of the slowest streams I've ever had in my life right now. I don't know why, but I guess that's life. Um, all right. Absolutely incredible. You can see that it physically pains him to be at two dollars in tips. It doesn't matter that he probably sent out a whale tweet and finished the night at a hundred dollars. He's going through literal withdrawal because of low tips. It's insanity, man. Let's go back to the beginning of it. Maybe you do need his financial advice, Phil. Look where you're at, dipshit. And he's so pissed that he had to pay to take a couple of financial courses after his bankruptcy. He got all that debt dismissed. And he's still pissed because he had to pay for a few classes. This is what type of person we're dealing with here, man. He gets everything handed to him and still cries when something doesn't go his way. Or when he has to face a little obstacle or something. It's a piece of shit, man. But you're adult cheer. This is just... What the fuck? I'm... Uh, I guess mature adult's taking a huge dump. And he, wa he felt like telling us. Thanks for the cheer. Oh, let's see here. <clears throat> what? This guy is like an idiot. Listen to this. This guy's completely wrong. He tipped me a dollar. He says, PayPal will charge the same flat fee for multiple dollar transactions, resulting in it being the same no matter how much more you tip. It's special for people who stream. Stop it and being dishonest with people. I know this. You're wrong. You're 100% wrong. <clears throat> that is 100%. I don't know who told you that. <clears throat> There's no special arrangement that PayPal has with streamers. PayPal has no idea if you're a streamer. All they do is track your transactions. There is a 30-some cent ch a charge, flat fee, for every transaction via PayPal. And if someone tips a bunch of dollars, you only get 60-some cents per tip. Versus if someone tips $5, they only take the one 30-cent transaction fee, and you'll get $4.60-some cents. What you're saying is 100% wrong. That is completely a lie. And if you have no idea what you're talking about, you should keep your mouth shut. Trust me, I used to do the same thing. Talk directly out of my rectum. And look myself look like a fool on street or on on video every single day on YouTube. <clears throat> I stopped doing that because I stopped wanted to look like an asshole. So you should stop looking like an asshole. <laughs> and then somebody trolls him and or decides to troll him about PayPal and fees. And Phil is right here, by the way. I mean, PayPal does charge you for every tip you get. You know, it's still just funny to see him getting bothered and squirming around with this stuff. And yes, Phil, you used to say stupid shit and talked out of your ass. Used to, but I'm glad you don't do that anymore, you stupid fucking idiot. Whatever, man. Next clip. Mature adult says you should do a PAX fundraising stream so I can take a day, a few days off. What do you say? Uh, I'm in no position to be doing a PAX fundraising stream. Any fundraising has to go towards paying bills and taxes. I don't, I, it's not like, oh, I'm good on bills and taxes, so now I can take days off to raise fundraising to go to PAX. Anything I raise has to go towards the important shit, so I stay here in my house and I have a nice life with my family, not, oh, I decided to do a three-day fundraising thing for PAX. I raised all the money to go, but by the way, now I can't pay my bills, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe in the future, but not now, okay? Basketball American tipped a dollar. I don't know why anyone would think that that's a... Uh, racist term. I'm passionate about the sport. Okay. I don't know. Maybe some some idiot does actually use it as some kind of a derogatory term, but in general that word is... Oh, shit. In general that word is not racist, so... Holy shit, I almost fucking died there. And of course, he can't understand why Basketball American is a joke or a meme or... <laughs> He's probably feigning confusion there, but whatever. It's funny. So... Back to the beginning, fundraising and charity streams are the best bait when it comes to this guy. He fucking gets angry because he knows it's true. He gets away with all this bullshit and never gives anything back or helps anyone but himself. 
It's fucking disgusting, man. And then, quote, Anything I raise has to go to important shit, so I stay here in my house and have a nice life with my family, unquote. Imagine that, holding fundraisers for yourself so you have a, quote, nice life with your family. You know, that right there is why I'm never going to stop making these videos. You know, other people can laugh, and that's fine, man, or just make fun of you, but that statement is 100% why I don't like you and why I'm never going to stop this shit. I'm always going to be here. They can delete my fucking channel, whatever. I'm going to come back and I'm always going to be around because you're a piece of shit and people need to call you on it. Mother a fucker. Um, a mature adult cheered. He said I was crunching numbers. Oh, here you go. He says, if you paid $100,000 for the condo in 2009, now it's only worth 60. Surely you paid the difference over 10 years. No, because first of all, I paid more than that. The, if I remember correctly, the original purchase price of the condo when I bought it in 2009 was like, I want to say it was like 120 something thousand. Okay. I'm not a hundred percent on that, but it was basically like 120 something thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, now the way mortgages work, if you're not aware, is that let's say it's a 30 year mortgage, which I believe it was the first 10 years that you pay that mortgage, you're literally almost paying all of the money. That's the profit to the mortgage company up front. So that they make their money. Um, you're actually not paying off any of the principal of that, that mortgage at all. And you're basically not really building much, if any, equity in your home. The only way you'd have equity is if the home value naturally raised over time. But in my case, what happened was I had that condo for 10 years. And I paid the mortgage every year or every month. And I got no equity in it at all. Instead... I paid all the money interest, whatever you want to call it, the interest, the profit that the mortgage company got. They got all the profit for the first 10 years. And the, the, instead of the home value staying the same or going up, it went down. Okay. So I bought it for like 120 something thousand. Now it's worth 60. In 10 years, the home value halved. Okay. So yeah, if, if a mortgage worked in a way that was like, oh, the first 10 years, you should have paid off a third of your mortgage, so you should be okay. That's not the case. I literally paid nothing off the mortgage. It went right to the interest. The mortgage company made out like a bandit, and I got fucked. So that's sadly what happened, okay? All right, and after the premiere is over, do me a favor and go back and listen to that entire clip. He slipped up so many times there, and even when he didn't slip up, he said some of the dumbest things a person can possibly say. Quote, the mortgage company got all the profit the first 10 years, unquote. Yeah, and what happened after that dipshit? Quote, the mortgage company made out like a bandit and I got fucked, unquote. This piece of trash got a bankruptcy and literally just stopped paying on the condo and told them to go fuck themselves. But somehow in this story, they made out like a bandit and he's the victim. No, Phil. You know who the actual bandit here is? You, motherfucker. You're the criminal in this situation. He can't comprehend in any way how he's wrong or he's a bad person. He's so fucking far gone from reality. It's like, what can you even say to this guy to make him understand? <clears throat> No mature adult, someone offered me $500,000 for Jasper, I would not sell him. He's my, my pet, as well as my son, basically, and I would never do that. So fuck off. <laughs> fuck off with your money, bitch. Alright, and here we go again. Motherfucking X to doubt on this bullshit. If someone offered him $2,001, he would kick Jasper's sorry ass to the curb. Go out to the back alley of his Wakondo and get Jasper a number a two. And then hold another huge positive fundraiser addition to the stream that you guys are gonna love. And it's true. It's damn true. Shout out to Kurt Angle, by the way, aka Perk Angle. And if you've never seen the Perk Angle music video, do yourself a favor and watch it after this stream. I'll put the link in the description if I can remember. Shout out to Perk Angle, the goat. Shout out to Phil, the literal fucking definition of a goat, you stupid fuck. Okay. Mature adult just chooses. Great positive stream so far. And I'm chilling out watching the stream while making a giant butt burrito. Wow. 
a butt burrito. That's the first time I've ever heard it called that. Well, thank you for the cheer. Snow Carl tipped me a dollar. Have you considered adding a cheer total to the donation counter or adding the cheer total to the overall donation goal? No, because first of all, there's no donation goal. It doesn't exist. It's a tips goal. Tips are different from donations. They're classified differently legally, and that's what you guys are doing. If you tip me, you're not donating. You're tipping to me, okay? You're tipping me for a service or a, a good. You like the service that I performed or the good that I'm providing, and you want to give me some something to keep that going. It's not a donation. Donations are considered more for non-for-profits and things like that, okay? That's number one. Number two, no. We're not doing anything with bits or cheers. Why? I'll tell you why. Because... It's actually against the rules of Twitch to have <laughs> a giant butt burrito. And there's the charity slash donation bait again. I love that, man. I fucking love it. It works every time. And I cut it off there because he just repeats himself about the bits and the terms of service and Twitch for the one millionth time. And ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit. And hey, Snow Carl, thanks for the tip, buddy. I have a feeling we'll be seeing you again a very, a very soon, uh, my good friend. And fuck you and homeboy's giant butt burrito. Next clip. Be one year ago. So an entire year, the only time I took multiple days off from streaming was a trip to Connecticut to see my parents and get married. I'm here. I go, the most I take off is a single day at a time. That's it. <clears throat> All right. So I know. When you think about it, everyone else, geez, at least you get some time off from work. The holidays, you get off. The weekends, you get off. Me, I'm here six days a week, every single week. Um, Latina Catalina just cheered and says, now that we're being positive and getting the groove back, can we get a business-related emo? Just like we look back at the toxic meme, I think it would be a great way to support the streams and tell Nancy to go fuck herself. Why would I do that? Why on earth would I do that? <laughs> There's no reason to do that. Um, But no. Because the truth of the matter is, no one should be in my business. No one should care about this shit. I didn't make any of that stuff public at all. I didn't talk about it on my streams because I knew it was private stuff. It's these d disgusting conspiracy theory shitheads who try to make all my private stuff public because they think it's funny. Well, they can go fuck themselves and we're not making an emote about it. <clears throat> Mature adult cheer. He says, are you looking like a Ram Ranch cowboy? Well, there you go. Sounds great. Um, Bandit's last battery tipped me a dollar. He says, if we hit 300, can you wear the vest backwards? The Nega Vest. Uh, I would think, I would think that would work. I don't know why you would want me to put the vest on backwards. That's pretty silly. For a $300 goal, I think that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> um, excuse me, Phil? What did you just say, buddy? Fucking hateful slur, motherfucker. Let's go back to the beginning. And Phil, if what you did was even remotely close to real work, You'd call in six days a week and still expect to have a day off on top of that. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. Lazy bitch. It's some dumbass cheers and tells Phil to tell Nancy to go fuck herself. Well, you don't have to do that, buddy. I'll do it for you. Nancy's fucking incompetent. Just an incompetent individual that should probably be in a facility somewhere. How she let this guy skate with that bankruptcy? I'll never know, man. I mean... Yeah, pig roach luck with COVID and her probably not wanting to deal with it anymore is probably what really happened. But how she allowed that to fucking go on, man. What the fuck, dude? And then the Ram Ranch cowboy. He does look like a little cowboy. Fuck you. Mature adult with a biz degree? That was it? Oh my god. Fine. Let's finally freaking see... What the hell happened with Mature Adult? You idiotically made a ginormous post that was a joke about gout. <laughs> I don't know why you did that. You also made jokes about masturbation. You called me Big Stinky repeatedly. You called me a hot guy. Then you were telling me about Jordy Jordan's weight, which we don't care about. You talked about my, my Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Like, basically, within a day, you did everything wrong. In, like, a one short consolidated time, you did everything to violate the stream rules. 
and you got banned for it. The thing is, you were a regular, and I think that the mods were actually being lenient with you by not banning you the first insult, the second insult, the third violation, the fourth. They waited till like seven, and then finally said, all right, I guess we gotta do something because this guy's not learning his lesson. So if I don't ban you, are you just gonna go right back to it? You know what I mean? Are you just gonna go right back into the fucking horse shit? Because the second we, let me put it this way. I'll unban you, and the second I see it, you're out of here for good, and I will never entertain unbanning you ever again. How about that? <clears throat> Derek says, when I went to arcades, did I ever see Tekken 6 or Street Fighter? Hey, Derek, go fuck yourself, little buddy. So Mature Adult asks why he got banned, and Phil goes over all these reasons and said that it all happened in a day. Have you not seen this entire video so far? This guy was doing this the entire time he was there. And now it's too far for some reason. And I just, I don't understand. Phil allows this to go on and go on and go on. And then he bans them. And then it's like he just pretends it all happened at one time. He's been doing this. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Mature adult. Did a 104-bit cheer. And say, got the all clear, so it looks like I'll be heading home soon. Uh, I don't need to read the rest of this. It's disgusting. But thank you very much for the 104-bit cheer. You're actually the top cheer of the day. I'll get you up on the leaderboard here. SPB Original actually asked, am I going to play Animal Crossing? Yes. I said this many times that Animal Crossing looks like it's going to be a new kind of chill and fun playthrough for me. Um, I've never played an Animal Crossing game before, but my wife has been playing the Animal Crossing mobile game and really, really likes it. And says that she, you know, she definitely thinks I should play the full version of the game coming out. Because I'll probably like it too. It's very relaxing from what I'm going to understand. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what was that you just said? My very good friend? Has anyone ever looked up Chaos Realm in mobile games? Or any of her other aliases? I mean, I'm sure people have honestly. But that was just a very odd statement. We know that she's played mobile games in the past, but... Just very odd, but let's take a look at the cheer that Philip didn't want to read there. And mature adult with the biz degree cheered 104 or did 104 bitch here. Says good morning, Phil. Got the all clear today, so looks like I'll be heading home soon. The blood has subsided, but I still have a really bad case of the splatters. Anyways, hope you have a good day. And I can understand why Phil didn't want to read that, but. It's the life you deserve, my friend. It's the life you fucking deserve. And you and your wife need to have a serious talk about mobile games. I don't know what the fuck's going on in that household. Next thing we know, Jasper's been playing mobile games too. And maybe that's where the $5,000 business expense a month comes from. A uh, maybe. A true adult chasing good morning. He's doing a poo-poo and watching my stream. Hey, thanks for telling me. I love it when you always... Tune in and tell me about your ball movements. That's what everyone likes to hear. Please be sure to tell us how many and how long they are. And, and an estimated weight. There you go. Ah, itchy. In Star Room Chairs, I noticed in older videos, you had a sub count close to 2,000. You were having lower attendance, so you can actively reach chat instead of zipping by. The sub count you saw was because of Emerald 7 going crazy and uh, uh, gifting a lot of subs. I don't think we ever had 2,000. I think we had, at one point we might have had even up to 1,500, but we never had 2,000 subs. Um, but I like my chat as it is. Let's say I doubled or tripled my attendance on every stream. It would actually be a lot harder to keep track of people, I think. Keep track of what people are saying and everything, you know? So... You know, I'm happy with where I am. All right, direct quote from Mature Adult. He's doing a poop, poop, poo and watch, watching his stream, unquote. And Phil's scat fetish comes out, and he asks for details like height, weight, and width. I mean, what the fuck, man? Then Ninstar Rune asks him about older videos with almost 2K subs. And I'm glad those days are gone, Phil. I know YouTube is... Potentially bringing gifted subs back in the next year or two. But I'm going to enjoy every day until that happens. Especially with the fact that you think you had 900 legit subs on Twitch. But most nights you struggle to break 200 viewers on YouTube. I love it. 
I uh, love it. So, uh, Mature Adult Cheers says, What I like about you, Phil, you are an all-around honest guy. I, I, I try to be as honest as I can. I, I actually Just hate the back. fact. I absolutely hate the fact. That sadly, I cannot be as honest as I used to be. I would love Enemy right now to tell you guys back. about stuff going on in my life behind the scenes and like keep you in the know. I can't anymore. There's too many people that sadly have just been like really messed up people who personally have done things with the information that I've relayed to the point where I can't risk having my personal life be thrown out into the public anymore. It's had concrete negative you know, results now on my life in many different ways which again i'm not at liberty to talk about how i can just tell you recently there was a few things that happened with shit that people did to me that were really fucked up and it basically made things become incredibly incredibly fucked up and stressful for me for many many weeks where i had kind of almost sleepless nights with how things were going i didn't know what was going to happen but you know that's that's my life now because of these fucked up people um and I just can't do it anymore. I can't. I can't risk it. I can't do it. So I just got to chill with telling you guys personal stuff. And there's not much I could do about that, you know? All right, and here we go. So Mature Adult cheers and says he likes that Phil is an all-around honest guy. Phil then immediately follows this up with saying he has to constantly lie to them about shit. You can't make this stuff up, man. And his excuse is, of course, that trolls harass him, and that's why he can't be honest anymore. So people aren't allowed to follow up on all these fucking claims you make when you're begging for money. And then when those claims get exposed as lies, you tell people you had to lie to them for their own good and for your own safety. Gee, Phil, remind me again why you have the life and reputation that you do. Sorry ass motherfucker. I'm sorry. I mean an all-around honest good a guy. Fuck you, man Say this one final time if you guys really oh hold on mature adult just cheered against to start playing games All right mature adult wants me to start playing games. So that means I just need to drop uh, drop everything Gerard Crow asks, why don't I do my taxes myself? There's free software like TurboTax and H&R Block that can walk you through it um, because my taxes are very complicated. When I own your, own your own business, you have tons of assets that depreciate every year. <clears throat> there are a lot of write-offs that depend on certain levels of, of different things. And quite frankly, <clears throat> being very honest with you, if I did my taxes by myself, they'd be wrong. I know they would. I'd probably be missing out on deductions. I'd probably be doing stuff incorrectly. I have no idea how to depreciate assets um, at all. If you saw my taxes, your head would spin. They're very complicated, they're very long, um, and drawn out, and, and very much pain in the ass to do. That's why I've had a tax person do them for me. Shit, I think it was back since like 2011 was the first year. The first year that I did this for a living, I did have H&R Block do my taxes. First of all, you want to know what H&R Block charges? About $700. That's not an exaggeration for my taxes. They charged me around 700 bucks to do them. And then when they did them... um. I didn't, like, basically, they were like, oh, yeah, you owe a ton. I was like, what? Like, why? Then, when I went to a tax attorney the next year, he's like, no, you don't owe that much at all. <laughs> they did it wrong. Well, not surprising, because H&R Block is just a bunch of independent people. It's kind of like getting an actual professional who, like, knows the ins and outs of the system versus someone who kind of knows it but isn't, like, an expert at it. That's the difference, and that's the difference you pay for it, too. <clears throat> so, if I did my own taxes, they would be completely wrong. And I would basically be told I owe way more than I really do. And, quite frankly, when you do your own taxes, you're pretty screwed if anything negative ever happens. Like, for example, God forbid, you know, a tax audit or something like that. A tax attorney slash, you know, professional accountant keeps all that stuff, you know, neat and on file. If you're just doing digital taxes, all it is is a, a, an electronic filing. Um, you know, so... You, you want a professional. Trust me on this. If you have a complicated tax situation like I do, you want a professional involved. You don't want to just be taking it for granted that, oh, I, I, I entered in a bunch of numbers into a spreadsheet, and uh, yeah, this is all correct. Don't worry. No, you don't want that. That's bad, okay? Okay. Um. All right, Taint Liquor. Just tip me two dollars. Does everyone remember to shave your taints? Have an awesome DBZ Cat Garage stream. Great. The taint liquor. 
Well, I guess we're going to get them up on the leaderboard as a top tipper. So anyway, guys, if you want to help me out the most today, please tip me. I am hoping to raise uh, a good amount of tips today on stream to help out with uh, not only this coming week, but, you know, like I said, I'm trying to raise stuff for the end of the month to pay my tax guy. So thank you very much to everyone who's contributed so far, anyone who's considering contributing. I appreciate that a lot. All right. All right, and that's the last clip for Mature Adult, but that was so fucking ridiculous, man. The more this idiot talks, the more it sound like he sounds like he's either A, lying, or B, has no clue what he's talking about. And it's probably a little bit of both. Quote, if I did the taxes by myself, they'd be wrong. I know they would, unquote. As opposed to the last 10 years, you fucking idiot. He says if you saw his taxes, your head would spin and that they're very long and drawn out and a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's probably what happens when you double dip and try to claim everything for your personal and then business uses, asshat. And we're going to talk about taxes here a little more as we go along, but he says he couldn't understand why then H&R Block or why when H&R Block did his taxes, he owed a ton. This is what tells me he was cheating on his taxes either by himself or with the help of that family friend. This dude was making way more back then than what he does now and still couldn't understand why he owed money. It's unbelievable, man. Direct quote. You want a professional. Trust me on this. Unquote. Sorry, but I don't trust you on jack shit, homeboy. Then at the end of it. Thanks for the cheered taint liquor that came in. And isn't it mother of fucking Shawn Michaels that he ends the clip after saying all that bullshit that he needs the help this week with tips so he can pay his tax guy. You can't make this shit up, man. Let's go ahead and move on to the third part of the video and our good friend, a Snow a Caro. Snow Carl, I'm just going to ban you. How about that? Since you just tipped me and you're still arguing about California employment law that has nothing to do with what we were talking about, how about I just ban you now and we get it over with? Seriously, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of you derailing the stream with nonsense, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? <clears throat> <sighs> he seriously sent a tip and he's arguing with me about California employment law. Like, you just don't know when to leave well enough alone, man. <laughs> California employment laws. How? You got one dumb fuck that doesn't live in California and the other doesn't even live in this country. Why on earth are they, or either one of them, arguing about this? California employment laws. And one of them ain't never going to work again in his life. And the other one, eh, he's probably just a lost cause. Whatever, next clip. Guys, I'm, I seriously, I'm not kidding now. I know nothing about Snow Carl being banned. If I see one fucking person talking about it, you're banned. I'm not going to deal with it. I, I'm in the finale of a playthrough I've been doing for two and a half fucking months. Okay? I'm having fun. I turn to the chat, and there's ten idiots talking about Snow Carl. Fuck you. No, you don't get to derail the fucking playthrough that I put 90 hours into. You're going to be banned now. So, I'm done with it. If I see one fucking person say that name in the chat, I'm banning you. I don't even know if he's banned or not. I, he was here earlier talking. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, you're banned. Here we go. Goodbye. You don't listen, you're out. Fuck you. I'm not putting up with this shit. Two and a half months of an awesome chill playthrough. You're going to try to ruin the fucking finale with your immature shit. Fuck you. I'm actually going to put the fucking controller down and wait a minute to see what moron is going to say it. Seriously. I'm going to wait. I'm going to ban your fucking ass right now. I'm done with it. I'm not putting up with your immature shit. Seriously, you're here to fucking, seriously, here to derail, completely derail my, at the finale of a game playthrough I put 90 plus hours into and everyone's enjoyed over the summer. Let's flood his chat. By the way, all accounts I don't recognize, new accounts out of nowhere coming to the chat to talk about Snow Carl. Fuck you. 
Go to his fucking chat. Go to somewhere else to talk about him. Not here. I don't know anything about what the fuck's going on with him. I don't have nothing to do with it. Get the fuck out. Are we done now? Can we continue? Can I concentrate on the game and have fun with my with a good audience instead of a bunch of shitheads who came in here to derail the stream? Are we done with this now? Seriously. Because you fucking pissed me off. Thank you, Cooper Cooper, for becoming a channel supporter. I appreciate that. That gets us down to 21 supporters, or excuse me, 21 members needed to hit the marathon for Saturday. We're very close. Please, if you have not become a channel supporter, please do. Okay? All right, and I love that clip. Another action-packed finale, huh? Could you imagine talking to and treating an audience like this? Again, gee, I wonder why you have the reputation that you do, Philip. And of course, they're magically all new accounts he doesn't recognize. How would you be able to recognize them at all if you're playing an action-packed finale, you lying-ass bitch? And by the way, you see how my content has been age-restricted by YouTube lately? Now compare it to this fucking clip. And he was on YouTube during this. This wasn't Twitch. This was YouTube. And of course, on cue, you get a brain dead fuck that joins the channel while he's talking to them like that. I've said it a million times and I'll say it a million more. They are subhumans, all of them, and they deserve each other. Next clip. Anyway. He said, I didn't know you were streaming on YouTube. I hope all is well. Happy Labor Day. Yeah, you know, I completely forgot to mention Happy Labor Day to everyone in the United States. It's a national holiday. We're basically just celebrating everyone out there who works and or puts effort into working in our country. Um, it's actually a national holiday where most people have the day off. Uh, but I'm happy to be here and chilling with you guys. It's one of the things about my job is I do things completely differently. It's not a certainly not a standard job. I know many of you may be sitting home relaxing today. Um, <clears throat> as a result of Labor Day. So welcome, and thank you for chilling with me. So thank you to the anonymous tipper. Glad to hear that you are enjoying the stuff, and thank you for the tip, and I'm glad that you're here. Yeah, you know, I was on Twitch for four and a half years full-time, and then I, they basically treated me like shit. I said, I'm out of here, and now I'm here on YouTube full-time, building the channel up to, hopefully, the same level that I was on Twitch. We'll see what happens, but like I said, so far this, this, uh, this month's support's been great, and I really appreciate that. Snow Carl tipped me a dollar fifty. Said I'm happy you took my advice and got Cass something nice for her birthday. Nice try on the day out. Sometimes stuff just doesn't work out, even if you plan well. Did you mix cat nice margaritas back at the crib? Uh, actually, you want to know the truth? Yeah, we actually did have drinks. I came home and I, I made us drinks. Which again, we were gonna have drinks out, but we couldn't because we didn't go to the restaurant. So when we came home, I made us drinks, and we had drinks together, and we had good sushi together at home all right and that's a good fucking clip right there happy labor day which he describes as quote celebrating everyone out there who works and or puts effort into working in our country unquote gee phil i wonder why you worded it that way buddy maybe because you're a lazy slob that begs in pajamas all day and your part-time wife works 20 hours a week quote this month, support's been great, unquote. Yeah, Phil, that sounds like something we all say at our jobs. Oh, this month, support's been great. Then he says he actually, he actually mixed some drinks at home like it's some big revelation or like it's a shock. I've seen your weekly a total of fucking a wine bill. You mix drinks every night, dipshit. Fuck out of here with that. Next clip. Julio Katz has done a super chat. Thank you so much. He says, can that burger become a new emo? Well, first of all, it's not a burger. I gotta clarify that. Guys, this is not a burger. This is the Burger King Ch King spicy chicken sandwich as was given to me yesterday by the actual restaurant to eat. They actually thought that I was going to try to ingest that. That disgusting pus infused mess. They thought I was going to actually put that in my body. Um... Can it become an emo? If someone wants to try, go ahead. I don't know why people would want that as an emo. It's disgusting enough. In Exanus, to me, $1.50, he said, What's up? I'm loving the streams. 
I like the relationship you have with kids like Snowcrawl and Derek. They see you as a father. <laughs> you people are fucking weird. No, they don't see me as a father. You're a weirdo. Thanks for the tip, though. Just fucking wipe it down a little bit and eat it, man. This dude claims he's living day to day and can barely afford his groceries. Meanwhile, he's spending 10 bucks on a fast food combo and throwing the food away. What doesn't add up here? Somebody tips a dollar fifty and says, "I like the relationship you have with kids like Snow Carl and Derek. They see you as a father." I don't know who it was that sent that message, but we can get, can we get some prayer hands in chat for them, please? That was fucking great. And that's exactly what you are, Snow Carl, a fucking kid, man, for letting them treat you the way he does. And I know you're coming back, buddy. It's only a matter of time. Okay, Snow Carl tipped the dollar fifty. Says I'm thinking about tipping and streaming in general. Do you think donos come in with an implicit agreement with the streamer that they should get something in return, or do you think a donation is entirely altruistic? For the people who genuinely like a content creator, okay, and they genuinely want to help them out, it's altruistic. They're coming in, they're saying, "Listen, you're providing me with a service, all right, for free." You didn't charge up front for a subscription. It's not like it's a paid-for server. Right? This is an HBO Max. <laughs> okay. You come in as a free stream. You're welcome to just sit here and enjoy it. And that's all that's, that's, that's expected. Okay. A content creator essentially is saying, I want to provide you with free content. And if you like it so much, please, by all means, contribute back and reciprocate. I've always said the reason that when you guys tip me, there's a reason I call it a tip. Number one, that's exactly how it's classified for tax purposes. But the reason I call it a tip is that's exactly the relationship we have. Think about when you walk into a restaurant or you walk into a bar, okay? You sit down and that waiter or waitress or that bartender is going to give you service for free. You don't have to pay anything up front for the service. You get the service first, right? Now, you're expected to pay for the food or the drinks that you get. But then on top of that, depending on how well that server or bartender did, you determine, oh, I want to give something extra to help you out because I felt that you did a really good job, okay? Now, you know that that person is actually dependent on tips to survive. You know that if you do not tip that person, you are hurting them because people who ha live in that job and that, 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 that kind of employment do not make a ton of money on base pay. Their livelihood is dependent on tips coming in, okay? So that's the relationship you're entering into when you walk into a restaurant or you go into a bar. You know that if you get good service, you want to reward it with a tip because that person depends on that to survive. And you want to give them a little extra to go above and beyond if they went above and beyond, right? It's the same exact premise here on a stream. It's free to sit down and enjoy the content of a stream. You don't have to pay. But if you like the content, you know that content creator makes a living via crowdfunding. So you absolutely should reward that content creator if you feel that the content they're putting out for you is something worthwhile. Whether it's you're, you're laughing at them, you're laughing with them, you're just having a good chill time, you're having a meaningful conversation. However it is you feel you're getting some kind of quality out of that, right? Then you should possibly reward that content creator just like you would reward a waiter or waitress or you would reward a bartender at one of those businesses. Okay? And here we go. He's so fucking entitled, man. He thinks just because he shows up and turns the camera on, he's owed something. Again, with the waiter and restaurant analogy, does the fucking waiter constantly pester you for tips, man? Do they constantly remind you that their shift is over in 30 minutes? Do they constantly nag you about their bills? Or do they act like fucking crackheads and scream chicken little if you don't tip them? I didn't fucking think so, man. Does the waiter live in a private, gated community? Does the waitress make 5k a month from their paycheck every month in addition to their tips? Did the waiter just declare bankruptcy and get foreclosed on their second home? How exactly are you like a waiter or waitress in a restaurant again, motherfucker? Okay, so I'll refresh here. Uh, guys, please stop spamming snow in the chat. I understand you think it's funny because you're acting like little kids. Please stop that, okay? Snow Carl actually did tip me $1.50. I apologize because it had timed out on my chat here. He says, 
I have to be honest, if we ask you five to ten minutes to answer a few questions, you ignore everyone except Derek. How can you be angry when we interact amongst ourselves? Because the questions you're asking are stupid. You literally spam my chat asking me for ten minutes. Did you hear in the European Union they're going to try to ban bronies or something? Why the fuck do I care? Do I have any attachment to bronies? No. Do I ever talk about bronies? No. Do I live in the European Union? No. All right, so Snow Carl, what's your opinion that in Iceland they recently just passed a law that you can't put an alligator in your bathtub? What do you think about that? Who cares? Why do I have to address every stupid little thing that you're asking me? I don't. If it has something to do with the stream, I will. It's completely stupid. I'm not going to answer it. You're wasting my time. That's why I didn't answer the dumb question. Okay? Holy fuck. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for the tip. <laughs> I mean, wow. Could you be any more off topic to anything that's pertinent to me? Why would you ask? Here. Did you know that in Zimbabwe, it's illegal to slap your knees while blowing a kazoo? What's your opinion on that? Who cares? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Stop spamming snow in the chat. Direct quote. Bitch, we'll spam any fucking thing we want. Fuck you. And snow car asks, why do you get angry if we interact in chat amongst ourselves when you consistently ignore everyone and respond directly to Derek? And I don't like you, Snow Carl, but that's a great fucking question. And this bitch has the nerve to say, because the questions you ask are stupid. Which implies that Derek asks pertinent and non-stupid questions. Fucking Derek. I don't even know what to say, man. Fucking ridiculous. What? Snow Carl, why are you saying bullshit in the chat? Now I'm actually going to call this out. Snow Carl, literally every day you're here and you know exactly what the deal is. Why are you in, here, you're in the chat saying that I prefer Super Chats when you know that's not the fucking case? Why are you trolling? I mean it. Why are you trolling? Like, you just did it in front of everyone. Why did you do that? Are you an asshole? It's not funny. He literally, is like, got the Senpai just did a Super Chat, which I was grateful for, and I'm, here I am focusing on the game, and Snow Carl's talking, it's like, oh, he prefers Super Chats. Yeah, long-term support's great. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. Hey, Snow Carl, don't be a fucking asshole. You just got timed out for it, and you deserve it. And if I see it again, I might be a little bit more harsh. I don't care that you're a regular. You're being an ass. Like, seriously, he literally did that to be a dick. So anyway, Gothi Senpai, sorry to get you in the middle of all this, but yes, tips are preferred. Tips I get more of a cut of, and they help me out right away. So if you could tip, I prefer that over Super Chats. But Super Chats are still good. If you want to do a Super Chat, that helps me long term. Okay? It really pisses me off to see a regular come in here and try to be a dick like that. Like, you're fucking being an asshole. Gee, what a, what a surprise. Okay. Yeah, I know. I already said earlier today. I already said earlier today, enough with the snow spam in the chat. People think it's funny. You're acting like little kids. So, now I'm going to officially say stop it right now. Because if I see it again, I'm just going to start not timing people out. It's ridiculous. Can we enjoy a fucking chill stream without a bunch of dickheads acting like four-year-olds? I mean it now. Shut the fuck up with this stupid, immature shit. Either act your age or get the fuck out. I'm trying to have a good time here. Jesus Christ. Snow Carl, no, you didn't think you were fucking joking. You just hit me. Oh, I was joking. No, you weren't joking. You didn't think they were joking. You're being an asshole. All right? You deserve your time out. And if you come back, you better act like a fucking normal person. Not coming in. Oh, I'm going to sneak this Phil behind his back when he's playing the game. I'm going to say the wrong thing to someone who just came into the chat. No, you're not. All right, I had to cut that clip up a little bit. But look how pissy he gets because Snow Carl was joking. And he reacted that way because it was about money. 100%. Kind of like recently what the person said about PayPal. And the info that Dave can see. And look how he reacted to that. You know, this is another reason why I show no mercy on Snow Carl. He lets DSP talk to him like this. Then he gets what he deserves. And then he always comes back again like he will very, very soon. But just bullshit. More bullshit. And Dave acting the way he fucking does. Fuck out of here. Snow Carl says, sorry, I assumed you guys just talked about places you'd like to visit in the future, and Yellowstone seems like a big destination. No, what we actually do is we sit around the house cursing people we hate. So, you know, I'm like, I curse the detractors. I curse the, this person who I, who, who's annoying. My wife says, I curse you! No. <laughs> yes. 
That's what we do. We said, I cast Thomasine! Ah! Just like that. That's how we sound when we do it. <laughs> I fall! I love it. I love it. That's what you get. That's what you fucking get, bitch. Sound familiar, asshole? That's beautiful karma of Bay Bay. And by the way, get the fuck up out of my face with that nasty ass toupee you have on your head, a mother of fucker. Next clip. Congratulations, PewDiePie. Have a good life. Thanks for still keeping me in the back of your head. You know why they say how you live rent free in someone's mind? Apparently, I will always be in PewDiePie's mind, likely because, as we all know, let's be honest here, he was a nobody back in the day. I was a big YouTuber. He watched my videos, liked them, and commented on them when he was not making content. He then was inspired by me and I'm sure other content creators to go on and make his content. And he became, of course, one of the biggest gaming content creators in history. But likely, he still thinks about me from time to time. And when he does, he thinks it's funny to make a five and a half year old insulting reference when in reality, no one gives a fuck about him either. So, I mean, talk about not having any self-awareness. But, hey... I don't really care about the guy. I don't. I don't. I never. I mean, t when do I ever bring up PewDiePie anymore? Never. Like I said, this guy has zero relevance to the common to, to the common person today or the modern gamer. Like w w during the era when Ninja became popular and all of that, PewDiePie just faded right into obscurity, and no one talks about this guy except his core audience now. So more power to him. I'm happy for him. Let him keep doing what he's doing and be filthy rich. But, uh, you know, the fact that he has to try to take shots at me randomly out of nowhere, I think it pretty shows uh, the level of where he is in his mind. Okay? All right. <clears throat> salt. All I can taste is a salt. And I wasn't going to include this clip because I felt like I had too many already. But there's just no self-awareness here whatsoever. Quote, PewDiePie has zero relevance to the common person today. Unquote. What do you even say, man? Another thing that ran through my mind is I can just see Planet Jeff, I mean One Minute Man, Atlas Telemon, Silent Bab, Jax Raxor, and a few of these other silent majority fucks sitting there in their little life jackets and life preservers with their little helmets on, raising their hands up, saying, that's right, Phil, you're bigger than PewDiePie. And they just crack me up, man. It's too much. But yeah, nothing but fucking salt. All I can taste is the assault. There you go. Um, Snow Carl took another dollar fifty. He says, "I think you've done well to curtail the drama recently and create a wholesome atmosphere in your chat." Um, do you think you'll need to clamp down on anonymous tipping because it seems to be the main focal point of drama and trolling? Um, no, because the thing is, I can control it. Like an anonymous tip comes in, I don't have to read it. You know, and it's funny because it's absolutely true that people feel, "Oh, I threw fill a dollar." Now, because of that, I'm entitled to him derailing his entire stream to address my dollar tip. Wrong. <laughs> let me let me make something upfront and clear to everyone. When you tip a content creator, there is no contract between you and the content creator. You're saying, here's a dollar as a tip because I like your content. Take it and do whatever you want. That's the truth of the matter, okay? There's no contract that says, oh, because I tipped you, now I'm owed a shout out. I'm owed a whole segment on the show where you address my concerns and yada, yada, yada. No. Absolutely not. Never, never have that ever happened, okay? Um, so please understand that that's the case because there are idiots who come in here, they'll tip a dollar, and then I don't derail my stream with their drama, and then they, oh, I'm going to charge that back, and they lose every time. They lose every fucking time because you, there's nothing there, okay? Um, Snow Carl is elaborating. He says, I mean, under pseudonyms, people tipping and saying everyone is OIC. Oh, that's just stupidity. That's just stupidity. I mean it now. I'm not going to go too far into it because, again, this is derailing, but um, these idiots will say whatever they want to try to prove their own agenda with zero evidence. They've been saying that Only Ice Coffee is like my sole contributor for like a year. They've been, oh yeah, Only Ice Coffee, he's the one who's doing every tip behind the scenes. He's the one who's doing every tip in a name that we don't recognize. Wrong. In fact, I will tell you this. 100% of those people are not Only Ice Coffee. I'm just being honest. You know, these people are idiots. These oh, they, who are saying this nonsense, again, it's their own narrative they want to create. And they can say whatever they want. It's just not true. Only Ice Coffee is not all of these people at all. It's it's what it is. It's a group of people, a large group of people who like my content. They're now, because they've seen the actions of these fucked up people on the internet and seen that they try to dox people and mess with people, so they're purposely doing this to hide their identity. This is why 
the trolls are so angry because now they can't get to these people because they're doing things anonymously. And so, oh, I can't harass them anymore. No, you can't because they're doing it smart. They're doing the right thing. They're not putting their identity out there in their contributions, you see. So that's why this is happening. And it has nothing to do with OIC at all. He's not involved in it whatsoever. These are just idiotic people who don't want to believe that there's actually people who like my content because they're dickheads. All right, we're getting down to the last few clips here, and now it's going to start getting a real. So, direct quote, when you tip a content creator, there is no contract between you and the content creator, unquote. Well, gee, Phil, that sounds like they have the right to charge you back then, bitch, if especially if there's no contract. And you don't read off their message or at least give them a response. And then he says they lose every time they try to charge him back. This was like two months ago, by the way. This guy never learns his fucking lesson ever. Why are you always crying about chargebacks then if they always fucking lose? It doesn't make sense. DSP then says it's stupidity that people say the three-letter bitch is always the one tipping him. Well, gee, Phil, maybe it has something to do with the fact that this dumb bitch got exposed for having 50 names literally lined up to tip. I wonder if that's why people always say that, but of course he won't address that. Talk about moving the goalpost. And then direct quote, I will tell you this, 100% of those people are not OIC. I'm just being honest, unquote. Way to stick your neck out there and go out on a limb. That's like me saying nobody trolls you, Phil, because I don't troll you, which means there's no proof that anyone else does it. Do you realize how stupid you sound, fucking idiot? He then says there's a large group of people that like his content, and those are the people contributing. Then why do you beg for money every fucking day the way that you do? Lying ass a bitch. The relic, but the village heart was gone. So Chicken Man says, why is there so much bullshit at night these days? He comes from a long day of work, he wants to come here and show, uh, show with me at night, and he has to put up with all the stupid trolling and snow carl bullshit. Well, <clears throat> I think what's happened is a lot of the moderators can't make it at night, at least recently. And so because there's no moderators at night, these idiots who are restreaming sick their fucking viewers on the stream. Ah, oh, go over there and just talk about snow call constantly. And let's see what happens. <laughs> fucking idiots. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's very annoying because obviously it has nothing to do with the stream at all. Snow Carl's not even fucking here tonight. These idiots just sit here spamming constantly about it. So I'm just, I'm really not going to have any more patience for it. If I see it, I'm just gonna ban it. I'm not even gonna say, oh, why are you doing that? What are you talking about? I'm just gonna ban Here it is. Good gun's gone. Goodbye. Got one already. Look at that. Good night, bitch. Not fair who knows. Snow Carl's not an auto ban, but when you see the entire chat talking about it, something's gotta give, man. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying the game, and when I'm really into a game, I'm in the groove of a game, I wanna share that experience with my audience. And when I turn to the stream chat, and literally, the entire stream chat is snow cow, snow, snow cow, snow cow, snow cow. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck does that have to do with Cana Bridge of Spirits? What does that have to do with me? What does that have to do with my stream? What is it even any kind of pertinent conversation to anything we're doing, right? It's completely 100% derailing of the fucking stream and it shouldn't be allowed. And it does piss me off because, like I told you guys, there has been uh, a concerted effort this week to derail all of my streams. There has been. Ever since Sunday, every night and every day, people are here derailing with that kind of shit. All right? Because they're like, oh, well, I'm not outright insulting Phil, so it slips under the radar, right? No. No. It's just not allowed. If I see it, it's a ban. It's a ban, and I don't give a fuck. I just don't. It's not your fucking stream. Okay. <sighs> All right. Now, let's do some shout outs. <clears throat> Look at this dunce. Oh, all this rent-free residents inside of his head. Think about this. Rent-free residents, when every time I turn to my chat, they're talking about it. How is that living rent-free in my fucking head, you stupid dunce? No, my entire stream is steamrolled by the nonsense. I'm not thinking about it until idiots spam it in the fucking chat, you fucking mouth-drooling idiot. You complete brainless fucking twit. You don't even know what it means to live rent-free in someone's fucking head, you dunce. <laughs> oh my god. How dumb can you be? Okay, anyway, let's do shout out. Gee, Phil, those sounds like some of those famous hateful slurs you're very well known for, uh, my Fuhrer. 
Then at the beginning, direct quote, Restreamers sick their fucking viewers on the stream. They say go over there and talk about Snow Carl constantly, unquote. As far as I know, I'm the only person to ever even mention something like that with the Carl invasion, and it was clearly a joke. It's not our fault that you got scared and thought your stream was in danger of getting shut down and blah blah blah. That's your own fucking fault for being stupid. By the way, we might have to do another Snow Carl invasion soon. A wink, wink. And then during the middle of it, he takes a drink and smacks his lips three or four times. Yeah, that's a normal reaction after drinking water. You fucking gin addict. Again, I can't say it enough. You deserve this life, bitch. Now we're going to get into the last two clips and it's going to get even more a real. Okay, so people had a chance. And not only that, but I announced it on my Twitter last night. I have a pinned tweet right now on the stream. <clears throat> All right. If you're planning on coming in here and derailing the stream, you're not going to be here long. You're going to be permanently banned. And by the way, just so you guys know, there was already a planning to try to destroy the stream today with spam. All right. Some shithead tried to group plan with a bunch of other shitheads on the internet and said, oh, we're all going to make names that are variations of Carl. And we're going to subscribe to Phil's channel today. So when the 24 hour time limit <clears throat> uh, runs out, we can all flood his channel together. <clears throat> yeah, we can flood his channel together and basically ruin the streams for everyone who's there legit just to watch it. Okay. And it's over a hundred people, at least from the people who are like liking the posts and stuff. It's over a hundred people who said they're going to do this. Okay. So. Being that this is already in the works and likely going to happen, all right, I'm not going to have my moderators have to be discriminant about who they ban and who they don't, all right? I'm laying down the law and saying no more of this, this derailment bullshit, no more using those Carl names to join a meme. The only person in my estimation who it's okay for them to have that name is Snow Carl. Snow Carl was the first guy to use it, and everyone else tried to bite off of him. <clears throat> and basically try to create a meme about him and stuff. It's not his fault that these people are doing that. I mean, half the time Snow Carl's not here. These people meme about they think he's banned when he's not. He's never, he's not banned. He's never been banned to my knowledge. So I don't know why these idiots make this shit up, you know? Why should he have to suffer because idiots are coming in and trying to basically derail my streams with shit like that? I'm not, you know, it's not fair. So he gets to, he gets to, to keep his name because he didn't do anything wrong. But everything else, everyone else trying to bandwagon on this dumb fuck troll shit. You're done. You're out of here. It's already shut down. If we see it, it's banned on site. There's no exceptions here. And if you come in here with a name like that, you get banned. Don't even ask for an unban because there's no point. I'm not going to unban you because you're stupid. You couldn't read the pinned tweet. You couldn't read the, tw the my Twitter. You couldn't read anything. You're too ignorant. And you joined in the fun. Well, the fun's done. You're done. It's over. <laughs> All right. Seriously, of all the days to try to pull this, today's not the fucking day. Out of all the stress that i just been under, the, the incredible amount of annoyance and stress I just had the last 24 hours, this is the last day you want to fuck with me. And I, and I apologize to any of the normal viewers here. They're like, damn, Phil seems kind of harsh today. Yeah, I can't even walk. I'm like hobbling around the house, guys. I'm upset about multiple things going on. I don't need to have this fucking stupid kitty horse shit. Right? It's the least important thing to me right now is to be putting up with some dumb fuck's meme. And he thinks he's going to control my stream. He's a fucking loser. Fucking limp dick idiot. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to put up with your stupid kitty shit. <clears throat> God, I love that clip. Shout out to the almighty Ann Leet for having that one up on his channel. Direct quote. Some shithead tried to group plan with a bunch of other shitheads on the internet and said, Oh, we're all going to make names that are variations of Carl and try to flood his channel together, unquote. The fact that one community post got that reaction and that much paranoia out of him, mwah, chef kisses all the way around. Also, give yourself a pat on the back if you were part of that. Quote, and it's over 100 people, at least from the people that are liking the post and stuff, unquote. What a fucking boomer. Just what a boomer. And then he utters the line, Half these people think he's banned. Snow Carl's not banned. He's never been banned to my knowledge. So I don't know why these idiots have to make this shit up. Unquote. And my God, how that statement aged 
like a total of fucking a wine bay bay. Not only is Snow Carl banned now, but he's been banned a million times in the past. And the caveman here was probably drunk and couldn't remember it. Then another direct quote. If we see it, it's ban on sight. All this missing there was a little Pokemon with their arms crossed and on sight. On sight. And then during it, he says he's not going to put up with it anymore. And like, yeah, you are going to put up with it, motherfucker. And we'll do it again if we have to. Now, now that we talked about the clip a little, here's something that I never mentioned in a video or even talked about before. <clears throat> But you hear him say today is not the day and that he's very agitated and just went through some of the or he just went through some shit the day before on his day off. Right now, his bank leaks happened that night on Kiwi Farts. The reason he was so ornery at me there was because he probably did get the notification the day before from his bank and probably had an idea of what was coming. Now, I don't know if he knew his transaction history was going to be leaked, but he knew that someone had gotten into his account and seen everything. And then throw the community tab post about Carl Sock accounts, and it just threw him over the edge, literally. So, again, I've never talked about that, but when I heard that clip and then after the bank leaks came out, I immediately knew why he was pissed and why he was saying those little things about behind the scenes. You don't know what I just went through. He fucking knew what was coming. Now, the next clip is the last clip for the video, and, well, we're all going to pay our final respects to Snow Carl. Join me as we pray. All right? So, if you say that shit, you're out of here. And I'm not putting up with it anymore. I'm just not, you know, I'm just, I'm too nice is what it is. I'm too nice of a person, and I let people come on here and, and sneak this and, and come on and refer reference detractor shit all the time. Fucking Snow Carl has been doing it for how many months? And I'm just trying to be a nice guy. And everything you know I am, i'm trying to be a nice guy and how many times can i put up with that you know if that was the real one I, i'm assuming it's the real one people are saying it's the real one but you see i'm just too nice of a fucking guy where i i let people throw these barbs at me people tell me all the time actually that other streamers don't put up with that shit oh you know you go on there you get instant banned if you try to say anything like that i'm just i try to maintain a nice chill atmosphere on my stream so that everyone is welcome and everyone can have a good time that's my intention on my streams you see <clears throat> but if these people are going to be like this um if these people are going to be like this i i can't have it you know i'm not i'm not gonna have people abusing me constantly on my stream so you know i have to say if that if that was the real snow crawl that's unfortunate but man what a fucking idiot you know obviously he didn't want to be here to begin with he was here just to do this like i said the sneak dissing and the stupid shit every day anyway so what a moron <sighs> yeah, Zen Shuriken, here's the thing. He says, Phil's pretty lenient on sneak dissing. I, I personally, okay, oh, was it a fake snow crawl? If it was, I, I'm glad to hear that. Because if that was the real snow crawl, that's actually very unfortunate. Because I don't, you know, snow crawl, he always, snow crawl tends to get involved with stuff that he knows he shouldn't. And I talk to him about it. And I'm like, dude, just lay off. Just lay off. And I hope that he will, because he has to understand that some of the stuff he brings up actually is harmful to me and, 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 and my family, too. Some of the shit that he asks. <clears throat> so I don't know if that's really him or not. But I hope it's really not him, but if it is, it's a shit fucking shame. But anyway, um... Oh, you think so? Swagans thinks it was the real one. That's just fucking unfortunate. And that guy... I don't know, man. Alright. <clears throat> anyway... That's the deal. And I'm not, I don't really don't want to talk about it anymore. All right. Let's start at the beginning of it because I'm about to go off on him. So, in fact, let's go ahead and read the picture first. So clearly Snow Carl gets banned and he super chats on his way out as he's getting banned. Sorry, I can't listen anymore. You made 13K last month with 5K bills. Your bank history leaked. We know every dollar in and out. I love you, so I'll take the ban, but please seek help for your gambling addiction a by a chat. Now, let's get into the, the actual clip. Quote, I'm too nice. That's what it is. I'm too nice of a person, unquote. That's not even funny. That's just deranged and delusional if he actually believes that bullshit. Quote, 
People tell me all the time, actually, that other streamers don't put up with that shit, unquote. I can just imagine him at 3 a.m., blind drunk, having a conversation with all these people in his head, of course. Literally sitting there talking to the gin bottle. Ah, oh, Phil, you're too nice to these idiots. Ah, oh, Phil, your playthroughs are great. Ah, oh, Phil, you're still very handsome. All these trolls are just jealous. Ah, oh, Phil, it's not your fault you're bankrupt. The evil trolls are just a jealous. Then he cries about what Snow Carl said and that he's a moron for believing it. So Snow Carl is a moron for believing everything he's heard with factual evidence behind it, by the way. But he wouldn't be a moron for believing you, a known liar that provides zero evidence whatsoever outside of just trust me. Now, Phil, I think you're the idiot in this situation, buddy. And just for fun, let's take a look at some of the things that have come out with factual evidence. The most damning one was the bank leaks, which couldn't have been fabricated, by the way. People recorded themselves calling the actual Bank of America number on the back of a debit card, entered your personal info that was leaked on Kiwi Farts, and were able to get your entire automated transaction history over the phone. Which pretty much every person here that has a bank account can do with their own bank if they wanted to. They didn't do anything illegal, by the way. They legit just entered some info into an automated call and wrote down slash recorded what they heard. That can't be fabricated, little buddy. How about a WWE Champions account that was found with your Twitter handle? Someone, I think it was T TZG Nilky or TGZ Nilky. I had to go back and look, to be honest. Infiltrated the Champions Discord and screenshotted all the convos that included you. Other people also infiltrated the Discord and saw these same convos that included you. Someone ran a speech pattern analysis test against your messages, and the result was so high that the software nearly blew itself up. You claimed it was either an imposter or fan of yours, but this same person for years has used some of the same exact language and weird pronunciations such as you, such as, quote, I'm boned, starting announcements with, quote, all or using the term sarcasm at the end of posts like it's even needed to be said it was also revealed that your super secret mod discord account id matched up with the id of the same person that was in the wwe champions guild now this shocks me and that the person on this account had a ridiculous amount of money to waste on this mobile game Meanwhile, you declared bankruptcy and couldn't explain where these 5k a month business expenses came from. You're right, Phil. This all sounds circumstantial to me, my friend. Or how about your foreclosure getting leaked? Something you said was ridiculous and just idiotic speculation for months. You then banned and silenced people that brought it up. And then months later, when you're ready to do a state of the stream and beg for money, by the way, you admit it was true all along and that you weren't lying. You just had to keep it a secret. Gee, Phil, you have a pretty good track record of saying just trust me even when it's been proved after the fact that you're still lying. So explain to me again why Snow Carl is a moron for believing what he's seen about you and not just trusting the words that come out of your mouth. You fucking lying ass piece of shit. Now, Let's go ahead and wrap this motherfucking thing up. Snow Carl's a dumbass for staying around that long, giving you that amount of money, and always trying to help you and give you advice. You proved the type of person that you really are by treating him the way that you did and eventually just getting rid of him because he called you on your bullshit. I don't like Snow Carl, but I support whoever it was that was saying, if you want to do an interview, if you want to come out and speak, how you feel about Phil, why you did the things you did, etc. I support that along with any other pay pigs that might want to come out and talk. Now you have to be confirmed because anybody could just say anything, but I do support that movement to try to talk to some people and wake them up out of it. All right, and this episode was a little bit different because usually where I would look at the pay pigs and go off on them, I directed this one mostly at Phil because he's a piece of shit and I just don't like him. So this one was more at Phil Future episodes depends on who we cover 
and how I'll cover them, but that's what it's probably going to depend on. Let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. All right, and that was episode 21. I'm going to give a couple of quick shout outs for uh, people that tipped me after the last video. Uh, shout out to Tannis, who tipped me twice, actually. And at first I thought it might have been a mistake, but they were different amounts. So I'm sure he meant to do it. Uh, no message, but thank you for believing in me, man. And appreciate the contribution, homie. Uh, second shout out to, we'll just call him Anonymous. The email was a sock account and the name was a company name. So they know who they are. They probably didn't want a shout out, but thank you for the tip and thank you for the support, homie. I'm not really sure what the next video is going to be. Um, I got a couple ideas. I was actually working on something and then I saw the comment by Silent Weapons and I went ahead and started working on this and I put it out in a few days. The next video, I'm just not sure. Probably go back to what I was working on. I'll keep an eye on the comments and get any new suggestions, etc. Um, outside of that, I will speak to y'all very, very soon. Thank you for rocking with me. And as always, a less a fucking a go.